What is up guys, it's PKFan25 here. Today I'm going to be showing you basically how to update to iOS 5 on uh, pretty much any device. Um, this is for Mac or PC, but I'm doing this on a Mac. Uh, so if uh, you have it like, you know, if you have a Windows computer or whatever, um, you know, this will still work. It, it's just uh, the buttons will be different. So uh, first what you want to do is you want to go to this website. I'll have the link down in the description. Um, and you have to download your firmware so you go right here and it should be right here actually um, so you go right here um, download iOS 5 below uh, so if you have an iPad um, an iPod touch an iPhone uh, it's all right here so just click it download it I would suggest uh, you know before you go to sleep um, downloading it and hopefully tomorrow morning it'll be done that's what I did it took about five to six hours but it does work, there's no problems or whatever, so this link will be down below. Alright, the next thing, what you're wanna, gonna do is you're gonna have to uh, find your uh, firmware, wherever it downloaded to after it's done downloading. Um, I just put it on my desktop, so that's what I uh, would suggest doing. Then you're gonna go over here by the like the update, restore stuff or whatever. Um, make sure your iPhone is plugged in, make sure you have every single thing backed up, you know, synced up, uh, all your apps, make sure, you know, check. Then what you're going to do is, uh, I'm not sure, I forgot what it was on a Windows, but if you're on Mac, you're going to want to hold Option while you click Restore. So you hold Option and click Restore, and this little thing pops up right there, uh, and you find your, uh, I, uh, your IPSW file or the uh, firmware, and you press Open. And then it will say, iTunes will erase and restore your, iPod, or your iPhone to iOS 5 uh, and verify it with Apple, so it's going to restore. Um, so as soon as it's done restoring, I will be back. Alright guys, it's not fully finished yet, but uh, basically after this, you just want to wait for everything to load. Uh, and once it's set, like there'll be a pop-up that says, uh, not that, but it'll, <laughs> there'll be a pop-up that says, uh, like uh, your phone is done, or like your iPhone has been restored to factory settings, and uh, now you you're, you know like it will like have a countdown little thing, and after that you can basically uh, just set up or you know set it up normally uh, if you want to see that video you can click on the screen right now um, and that video I put up uh, it's basically showing you how to uh, set up your iPhone um, or any device on uh, iOS 5 so that is pretty much it right after you're done restoring you can just back up uh, anything you need to and after that you never need a cord again unless you're going to charge uh, your device and with the wall or your computer or whatever. So that is pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys later.